And now, because it was people that were involved in MK Ultra from a greater than Great Britain uh, and did have a problem with the rats, I had decided I would decide a video to the rats and to the people who had a problem with the rats and also myself and mods and all kinds of issues. So why don't we start with this video? This is a very interesting video. It's gonna be uh I uh these people here you see these people were involved in MK Ultra already probably since 95. Okay, now they became famous what appears to be rats as big as dogs. Mm, I don't know about big as dogs. Maybe if their dogs are like really, really small, you know, but that's what it says here. It says rats the size of dogs make street and no go zone. Yeah, check this out. Isn't that fantastic, eh? Rats the size of dogs make street and no-go zone. And so these British people squeezed me against the wall. They started to squeeze me against the wall. They had a first time they had a problem. They became famous in greater than Great Britain, like in 2000 and. 13, 2000, even 2012, I don't know what happened. It was like, rah, 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 rah. Right. did I understood what went on? No. Actually, you know, when they had a problem with the rats, these people, the famous trio, uh, these residents had a problem with the rats already like in 2011. They started to ground, something about 2011, about having a, I, I, I had no idea, but they talked about rats the size of a dog. This is the way it's just like, wow, wow, really, oh my God, you know, rats the size of a dog. And so I didn't understand anything what they were saying, you know, but they started to talk about the rats, uh, dangerous a no-go zone, that kind of stuff. Uh, I haven't seen any rats. I was there and I haven't seen any rats. I was asking, where are the rats? Where are the rats? I want to see the rats. You said it's big like a dog. Show it to me. Show me this rat. This big as a dog rat. Where are these dogs? Actually, rats that are as big as dogs. The rats, obviously, that eat dogs. And it just didn't seem to me that they could show me this uh, rats that would be as as big as dogs. And this trio was very, very, very strict. It was very, very strict. Uh, just like you see the man here with this decree here in his hands. <laughs> I like this news. Because the source of my problem indicates at least 50% is coming from greater than Great Britain. And I wouldn't even see this news if I would connect myself to the Yahoo United Kingdom, which I did. Uh, there are two new sites, one for the UK and another one for USA. I should say international, uh, and yeah, there are also other Yahoo sites I've seen for even for Taiwan and so on. But doesn't it look straight? This man here holding this stuff here, like this. Now he was demonstrating to me something like this in like 2013 that this is what I'm gonna get. I also see here like a biohazard theme. Uh, I don't understand what 
this would have with me. Um, it's interesting how this British know how to connect this stuff to make you look crazy. They did involve the people like this. They had involved, they involved the people like big on a big on a large scale. They involved the people like this. My problem supposedly, however, would be with the mods. The mods which Americans encountered inside of my room for the first time in 1999, at least in 2000. And this is right after Dubravitz, Rog Dubravitz encountered problem with the mods in his house in 1998. I was sure it was in 2000, but it was not. It was in 1998. About a year and a half later, the mods found their way straight into my room during MK Ultra sessions. I was not inside of Slovenia since 1995. I was in the United States of America, uh, hijacked from the US to Slovenia. However, they started to play also with this kind of issue. And look at the people like you can see right there in the picture. And from the police that would at times also take fingerprints from my rooms, from the area, from the house, uh, as well as the people that studied uh, other factors in the household, such as cleanliness, all kinds of, all sorts of issues will be present. And so the British decided they would cast in a game. That's that's what it is. It's a game. Forty, not forty-nine years, but fifty-one years. They destroyed me in my life. They see this as a game, a scandal that could be resolved by involving other scandals in it. That's why I openly tell you I refuse to have anything to do with scandals. They wanted me to open. Uh, I'm going to make sure that. There'll be about nothing other than true, uh, so that the true will not be replaced by nice. And when I saw this news, the people as big as rats, uh, describing rats as big as dogs, I couldn't help myself, but to, well, already at the time, even before that, even before 2013, 2012, 2011, they started with this. Uh, I was extremely disappointed because they, sh they, they couldn't show me the, the rats as big as big. They wanted to know what is it with me and this and that. I told them that I want to see them. And they were asking me if you're not afraid of the rats and so on. Well, I don't actually go and chase rats. I don't have anything about the rats. But people are like always terrified of the rats. Uh, in my case, the truth is that I was terribly bored as a child. In this city here, the novel master, uh, nothing much really went on. And uh, this was the house for my grandfather right here. Uh, this is where I was. Uh, this is where I'm from, basically, from this house here, this this beautiful little house. And I would play here. Hell, I'm not going to have a chance to to climb up there, right? No, I didn't get no chance for that. All right, and right below this scarf that you see right there, uh, this very authentic scarf from the old times. Uh, there is another villa here, and above there is another villa here. Uh, and this is this was my playground. It wasn't that beautiful. It was quite wild actually. Uh, we, uh, I would catch everything from the lizards to grasshoppers, anything that that small. Snakes, anything that I could get my hands on, and 
it's not that I would go and hunt them or something like this, but sometimes the toys would fall over in this fence deep down here. And you would have to go and retrieve them. And in the back here, it was a canalization from the city, whatever, sewage. Uh, sometimes it even stink. It was a really little canal. I have no fucking idea what this was. Was it maybe from this apartment? Uh, was it maybe from up there? Wherever the hell it was, it did go around under uh, our house. And uh, somehow it ended right there. And uh, there will be like, uh, sometimes there would be like, uh, maybe like 10, maybe 15, maybe more rats. And those were really, really, really giant rats. Those were really the rats of uh, pit bulls or something like that. Yeah, you know, I'm kidding. Uh, really, really, rats were as big as they say in the New York are a giant rats. These rats here, I guarantee you, they were really, really, really fat. They were really fat. Uh, they were really being taken care of. But the thing about these rats is that me as a, as a I was maybe how old the hell I was, maybe seven years old, seven. I was about six, seven, eight. Uh, when I was like nine years old, they make them disappear. You know, at my disappointment. You know, there was one thing about these rats, these really giant rats. I mean, I, I can't compare this to the dogs. I mean, not even to Chihuahua, not even to... I, I am not going to do this simple because it's a different animal. But these rats were damn big. They were really big. Uh, they were giant rats, actually. Although this screen here that I have in front of me, maybe it's like 14 inches or something like that. They were as big as this. They were giant rats, really, really big rats. And, you know, I cuddled them. I would go to pick up my toys, whatever, ball, whatever they would be. I would go there and I would get these rats over there, two, three of them. And they would look at me like this and uh, they would allow me literally to cuddle them. They would not bite me, they would shit nothing, they would just look at me, and I cuddled them. Simply, I cuddled them. I had no problem with them. Why, how the hell that happened, I have no idea. Not, no rat ever, however, have done anything to me. Hey, look, is that thin set of the white sauce? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, the rats, they would do nothing to me. I'm not saying that you should do this when they find out, when they found out, once they found out what I was doing, what I was up to. Uh, this lady is here from the bank. Uh, it was alarm. Immediately it was alarm. My mother find out and uh, then I haven't seen her at my rap anymore. It was all gone. Mm. Uh, hell, this rats, I tell you, but nicer than the ladies, the banking employees, you see right there, these windows. During the break times, they would open this and they would chat with me. Like they got nothing else to do. Anyways, they were only looking for trouble. There was a birch tree here. Uh, no, they were not that bad. They were not that bad. They were just a kind ladies, whatever. They love to tease me and stuff like that, whatever. Whatever was in their heads, they really enjoyed this in me, whatever. Uh, and so they find me somehow entertaining. So this is my story with the rats. Uh, but this story with the rats from greater than Great Britain, that's really Prince Edward and wife Sophie. Look, I didn't look happy. This man here is the one that caught my attention. He was always like, Arr. this man is worse than a rat. Really.
you know the video I'm making did the issue of the mods the issue of the mods a very interesting issue however did not reach the desired effect on me uh, it appears that I am not a very sensitive person uh, when it comes to the issues like this and uh, that I can pretty much find my way around uh, and uh, rather make something out of it that is going to hurt your ass if you by mistake somehow you do get into this uh, crazy stuff like some people did and uh, Are we lucky enough? Because yesterday I was really, really lucky, actually. Really, I would not brag about this stuff, but I was lucky. Uh, I consider yesterday is a, a lucky day. Better than the man that you see here. Much, much, much better is this here. I love this man. Do you know what the fuck this is? Well, they acknowledge this is the end of the MK Ultra. The psychiatrist Peter Cup. Oh, let me roll this back a little bit. For the sake of good old times. He uh, states will send this box just to get me going and then destroy me it's kind of kind of difficult to do really uh when you fucking organize when you plant mods and if the person have proofs that you planted mods inside of his room inside of his house destroy him a wardrobe with idea to force number one person into destroying, self-destroying evidence, such as a fingerprints, fabric, uh, all sorts of issues that can be used to detect presence of the people from abroad, from other countries, uh, you're fucked. You can even be King Charles, you're fucked if you do that. And the thing is that I do have this kind of stuff. It was, a play they started to play with the mods at this here this national laboratory for the health uh what for the environment and for the food was involved in mk ultra since 1997. this little box car that you see right there these cars were the replaced i think they got the first time they get the cars replaced I think they had this Renault Clio before, whatever the hell it was. It was ugly as hell. The old one, whatever. Ugly cars as hell. Uh, they had the, that stuff replaced. I think like in, even maybe in 2008, but I have to think about it. The thing is, I was present all the time. I know the people. I can identify the people. I know the agency itself. I know the whole fucking history about it. And that can bring a lot of history. Not history, but hysteric, hysteric stuff to the people that organized a problem for me. This one here was video recorded yesterday on September the 4th, 2023. And as I stated, the video. I am preparing about the stuff that was done to me 
let me prepare the video about how the police jump started a destruction of my clothing everything uh, in year 2013 when I returned from Scandinavia here uh, it, no actually I returned in 2010 2000 and whatever at the end of 2010 and uh, they were so angry with me pissed off with me because literally I went to Sweden and I went to Norway and I went to Germany and even Belgium and Canada before that to apply for the political asylum and so for them because it was a lot of prejudice involved in it. The only thing, the only prejudice at the time, I was the one because I was a simply a prejudice. Uh, what they were doing to me didn't matter. What mattered, however, was whoever had the upper hand in a situation, in crime, in this case, in genocide. So they had the ability, they had the right, in other words, to do exactly what I stated. And in 2013, if not 2012, they literally started to seed. Actually, in, 2000, in 2012, they started to seed mods in the attic area, claiming me that I have to start cleaning everything, everything, everything. It was exactly because I traveled a little bit to Scandinavia, I was going to file the political asylum. It was hatred that it was impossible to measure. And it was a hatred eventually that found its way into my room together with the mold. Uh, they spilled the water on my sh window shelves. They all kinds of shit. Uh, quite insane stuff, uh, which, however, over the course of the years, because they had this in program, they would exercise while preparing since at least, at least, at least year 2000. I am not 1999, I would even say. I'm not going to forget this professor, this psychologist American. Rex. Rex. Uh, there is a, there is a nail that was hammered in a, in a, in a very bad way. Uh, and he was teasing me, teasing me over and over and over if I think it's a mod, beginning in 1999. They had like a tremendous cleanup of my room. Then they started to play with the mods in at least two other houses that somewhat reminded of our house, the interior. They started to look for the houses that look, the interior looked like the interior of our house. And they, they paid these people and these people, basically they rented a house to do the torture inside of these houses. I don't I say, would you imagine, but this is the stuff I'm talking to you basically is factual stuff. You know, sir, the stuff that you're waving over there is the stuff that, yeah, during archaeology, you wave that stuff into a wrong person. Um, they have all kinds of people, including what uh, a little earlier I have uh, pushed forward where people dress like this, uh, exactly the way you see this kind of biological stuff, all kinds of stuff. There were kinds of people, not only in our house, but also probably in those other houses, uh, for which I already have indicated even the location where those houses were. Um, they did plant them, they planted this kind of stuff. They planted this stuff in, uh, even inside of the kitchen, in in many areas. and including in the food at the same time.
they would even do this and they would start to uh, terrorize spill the stuff the shit all over after I already cleaned this have everything cleaned up everything I would get the shit spilled all over the uh, with literally moths grown inside of the bag from where uh, they would start to release the moths uh, in the kitchen area uh, in a hallway and so on uh, according to MKUltra scenario. It was a nurse, Yanko, who insisted that the back that you see here, I'm just giving you like a little taste. I'm not happy about the shit you have done to me and I promise you, you will regret about this stuff. Uh, my using a deadlier than deadly chemicals that with the health conditions that I have really should not breed but using this breeding this shit uh, causing me enormous health damage just so that I can neutralize destroy this kind of stuff this is what the fuck this is this is an innocent this is a joke those chemicals kill even healthy people, they definitely cause cancer. These are chemicals that are used to unclog the pipes. And this is what the British royals use basically to compel me in what you see here into a struggle fight with this kind of issues. Before this kind of issues, it was a malt that I was compelled to use the same kind of chemicals uh, to get rid of mold and stuff like this. Why the fuck are you doing the stuff like this? Uh, my mom literally, I'm gonna play you the excerpt because this are, there are no moths in there yet. All right, there are not, no moths in there yet, but I'm gonna play you this excerpt here. They're not yet in this room where I go to sleep. This is a father's hunting uh, room. Obviously. Like a storage. I was gonna say, as somebody, Dis distributed more they distributed yeah they distributed more nurse Yanko stated me since I have not finished this stuff yet here ah, fuck this you see this shit here This is very, very important for me to video record. What you see right there, uh, the way it's dropped like this on a shelf and shit like this, that's exactly, exactly what they tormented me during that KOH. They demanded for me to take this to the forest. And I was asking them why in the forest. They said, you have to take this to the forest and throw this. And I said, because of torture because of trauma they were causing me. I was asking if I'm going to take this to the forest and then to release this shit. I said, is this going to be okay? Why to the forest? Uh, they said, yeah, it's going to be okay. It's going to somewhat even itself up. It's in nature and so on. And they were laughing about the trauma they created, claiming me it's, they're going to eat the whole house, everything, all the fucking rooms and everything. So do you think this is normal to traumatize people with stuff like this? to torture them, sleep deprive them with the drugs, have them walk for days, totally demand them, destroy them, ruin them, annihilate them, drink them sanity totally. Uh, and then you start, according to the stuff that you have done, push forward stuff like this. You think this is normal to do to people like this? Let me tell you something about this business here. This stuff isn't funny. Maybe this stuff is funny to you, but this stuff is not funny. Uh, further, the nurse Yanko stated to me. It was this again, psychiatrist, cop, nurse Yanko, police. Not only the nurse Yanko. 
how far the hell this stuff went uh, I will explain to you in a little bit uh, this is gross as fuck to see these animals climbing inside of this uh, what is it corn It was a, such a paranoia they incited in me that I actually asked them if it's okay to release moths in the forest. Can you fucking imagine this? The so I know that this, this one... Is not, this is not a paranoia, but what these people were doing during MK Ultra. Slovenian politicians, top politicians, were involved in this stuff. Health ministers were involved in it. The two candidates were involved in this stuff. Literally, politicians from Ljubljana demanding from police officers that they find food in certain areas to just go and plant, if it, especially if it's not immediately cleaned up or something like this, if there is a food, to just go and infest it. Yeah, I, I don't find this like normal people, these people. Ljubljana in this parliament, so many people that were here, I don't find this normal. Prime Minister, Mr. Golob, Robert Golob, and so on. Mrs. Dominica Schwartz people and, and Tanya Fayon and all these people. I don't find you normal. I don't find your ways as normal as acceptable. You have uh, strange economy you're running. 100% uh, was part of MK Ultra. I know they threatened. I know what I see here is a repetition of MK Ultra. This shit is violence. It's not okay. When mother saw this stuff this morning again, she was again behaving totally erratically. And today I had a bag of this crispies that spilled to me on the floor here and I pick it up. It was a police rule, aha, after I don't know how long, how many years, they would have food in here. It was the police rule that to me, for me it was a police rule. You see the time, the date is... 0448. I returned from Mariushka to Prisa. There should be no food in here when I go sleep in here. But it's not my mother only. It's not the police that are involved in the moths only. My father is inside of the home for elderly people. However, he had to agree. And that's why I know that most likely there was a delivery of moths done here today. He had to agree That's that he would lose this wild rooster and that animal right there. He had to agree to the police. He had to agree to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, Nurse Yanko and other people, that to the mother especially. He had to agree they will infest with his permission also his hunting room. He had to agree. I remember this. He had to agree. Whether he liked it or not, he had to agree. So do you think, how funny do you think you are with this stuff? How funny is this game? Is this game going in the right direction? I mean, that car was nice you sent, but is this stuff going in the right direction to you? The time, September the 4th. 2023, 0448 hours. Um, how do you even say that beautiful bird, night bird? Uh, so I don't know how you say that right now. It doesn't come to me. Yeah. Because the rest, the moths can do anything. But to this stuff this here, all you know, all they can. I remember very good debates, discussions 
during which father the had I go father sleep. who is inside of the this home for elderly people room. I go sleep had right to there. agree Everybody on behalf of the mother before. who demanded from him ask him what the fuck he think he is yeah I want to repeat this because it concerns my mother she was literally talking to him long how this. many years they would have food in here it was the police rule that to me for me it was a police rule that there should be no food in here when I go sleep in here. But it's not my mother only. It's not the police that are involved in the moths only. My father is inside of the home for elderly people. However, he had to agree. And that's why I know that most likely there was a delivery of moths done here today. Today, he had to today. agree that he would lose this you heard wild this rooster today. in that animal right there. Um, how do you even say that beautiful oh. Oh. bird, night bird? A beautiful owl. Uh, so I don't know how you say that right now. It doesn't come to me. Yeah. Because the rest, the moths can't do anything. But to this stuff here, they can I remember very good debates, discussions, during which a father, had, father who is inside of the home for elderly people, had to agree on behalf of mother who demanded from him, ask him what the fuck he thinks he is, that if he thinks this trough is like what's going to be with this stuff when he's gone and this and that, what the fuck do you think, and so on. He had to agree that he would lose this to moths. So the delivery today of the moths most likely was done during my absence. I had some important issue over there at Shmarieshke Toplice, which I have to say it really paid me off. Look at a spider. Come on, eh? Um, this shit is here temporary. This happened today. I should have cleaned already the floor again. It was not too long ago when I did. And I have to do it again. And when I do this, I do it with the chemicals, killing absolutely everything on the floor, wiping off absolutely everything. Um, but I got this feeling that there was somebody in here during my absence, there was not even my mother. In fact, it was a delivery of the moths done by the police. They fucked up the whole house. The damage they have done to me is astonishing. Uh, if something would be wrong with me, mentally, God forbid, they would have ripped me apart into pieces. That has a special kind of price. It's called attempted murder. It's called assassination attempt, which also will be classified as another assassination. And big one, because they were extremely stubborn next to deliveries, which I ordered for the watches and so on. All kinds of deliveries that I made. Look at them. You see what this is? This is a moth. Look at it. I knew it. I knew. I knew that something isn't right. I knew that something isn't right. Look at it. I knew that something just isn't right. I know I had the visit today during my absence. And that's why I also video recorded it when I came home from the trip. And I was told if it's going to be something like this, it was also other people, they suggested they would order the police. If you're going to see this stuff like this, you're just going to go ahead and you're going to plant moths and stuff like this. I remember from MK Ultra. So I know these boys are not too far from what I stated.
that's why I asked you to pay attention to the time. This is when I returned back from the trip. I left today. I did not turn the key like this. I never turned the key like this because the key can be pushed from the other side. Because I never turned the key like this. I always... And it was locked. Right now it was unlocked because I pulled twice in this direction here. So that this is not what I left. Somebody was inside in here. So somebody was inside of the room during my stay at Chmarieshka to please. Do you understand what the fuck I stated? The room that was infested, that is infested, is the room above. This is my room. They also infested where I have the stuff stored, the food. And I already told you about the attic area in 2012, what they did and demanded from me to start cleaning. They traumatized so much that it make fucking sense to do absolutely anything other than continue to do your complaint, get somehow through, and make the sense out of the whole thing. So, yesterday in early morning hours, when I was in Shmarieshka to Plitze, I had an unauthorized visit, trespassing into the room that I demonstrated you right there, but it was not the only place that a trespassing was done. I realized. I went and eat, and I, I was going to go something else. I was doing the exercise. I came all the way up. And realized the attic area was, the rod also was removed, which is used to keep the doors closed because I don't have the key. My mother keeps the key. So it was a visit in the attic area. It was a visit in the area in the room where I go sleep. And uh, and this was the mod I got already flying, literally, in an area, in an area more or less proximity of my father's room. The moths are one thing, the rats are something else. Rats can have rabbits, that's true. Those rats were actually dangerous. I don't recommend doing stuff like that. I wouldn't do it again. I was just a child like this. This, however, I would not recommend any patients with lymphoma cancer. or somebody, God forbid, has had problems with the kidneys or with the liver, and this is what they compelled me to use. This is what I used, because I don't have anything else I would use for the cleaning of the room. Do you understand what kind of damage the fuck you're doing? This show of yours, this game that you call, has very serious implications in people. I already have spoken about. That's why I would love to finish my complaint so I can complain to authorities that would stop this Slovenian police madness, stalking, trespassing, destruction, abuse, torture, and what I stated a little earlier, obviously, is attempted murder. Not one, but multiplied with a thousand, really. Well, I don't have anything else to add for this video. There will be a lot of videos coming and about a lot of stuff they did for me to use dangerous chemicals, deadly chemicals, uh, basically to harm myself as much as possible. I am going to try to make out to get some exercise. Uh, that's why I stated to you that My going to the police station 
talking to these people uh, already has for me a very serious implications involving it. Uh, from emotional point, from the emotional stand point of view, that's the damage they have done to me, they continue to do to me, and all the way to a part of the government institution that is responsible for everything, absolutely everything that happened to me. Not only in what used to be Yugoslavia before, but after independence in 91 also, what declared itself as independent Slovenia. I am stressed when I am talking about, not about the rats, not about the moths, but about the swinery that I have somewhat exposed in an earlier video about the swines like this, uh, I gotta tell you that I am stressed. When I consider this kind of stuff, uh, this kind of play, chemicals and all this kind of stuff that's being used to cause as much damage as possible with international authorities implicated in this, observing it, uh, like some sort of game, play, something. Uh, I have to tell you again, I have to accent, I am stressed about your conduct. It's beyond criminal. Nationalni laboratori za zdravje, hrana in tako naprej. These people were involved in it, that's why I took this shit, because it was a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, who stated me, uh, in respect to the moths, this is what you will get. You will get something like this, they're gonna come. Yeah. This is what this shit is. He later come up with some other scenario, but the best, the closest I can come to is what we have stated for what you have seen right there. He's going to actually use this for me to start to talk about the mods and then he's going to make me have problems and stuff like this. Um, this is where the video ends with no threats, anything like this. This is where the video ends. Thanks for watching this video. Um, till next time. No, do not play with the rats. No, hell no. They could have rabies and all kinds of diseases. That's true.